What the fuck is happening? Well, it doesn't sound like the call was no big deal. It sounds like it was important to you. Sophie's alive. Did I... Did I actually manage to rewind time? Max, are you okay? It kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? Oh. No, I'm just... really happy you're here with me. And your mom. So, drugs then? Sorry, uh... What were we talking about? Somebody mentioned a phone call? Hmm, yes. I was shocked too. I didn't know people still answered their phones. Funny, Mom. And yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It was just from the publisher. Publisher? I've been shopping a collection around for a while, and someone made me a deal. Awesome, Sophie. That's phenomenal. Was this your big secret? You didn't tell her? I thought she'd have been the first. I didn't want to jinx it. Aren't you always telling me not to tempt the universe? I'm so proud of my girl. Publishing is always such a difficult endeavor. Thanks, Mom. Is no one going to take our order? It's been, like, a few minutes. Have you ever had a food service job, like... Ever? I don't think they're ignoring us. They're just understaffed. Give her a minute. Amanda will spot us. I really should hire more hands. No need for standards to drop as soon as the students are gone for the winter. The whole place could use a facelift, to be honest. Come on, Yasmin! You don't have anywhere else to be? I need to ask Sophie about... God, where do I even start? What is that? Oh shit. Dude, your nose. It's fine. Just a nosebleed. Um, back in a sec. How is Sophie posting right now?
glad we did this. This? This lunch. They can entertain each other. They've had years of practice. I still can't believe Safi is here, alive, having lunch with Yasmin as if everything is normal. As if I didn't see her die two days ago. In case this does all go sideways. It was supposed to be a candid. <laughs> You'll never catch me alive. I swear, one day I'll get a candid of Safi. Was something here? I guess they're trading stuff out. Isn't Krampus cancelled? Is all of this for that Krampus party? Who's performing? It's for the Krampus. Look forward to seeing you there. Where's that sound coming from? Aw, this truly fills me with the holiday spirit. Nice to see this place gearing up for Christmas. Hell yeah, Diamond. Way to go. Wow, these really are the worst lines I've seen. Right, of course. There's a snapping turtle, so there's an Amanda. Wow. I thought you got lost in a blizzard. Dropped your phone down a bottomless pit. Something. Uh, lost? No. You're right, I'm being passive aggressive. Sorry. It's just... You asked me out and then ignored my text for 48 hours. Kinda sucked is all. Oh, so... so I asked you out? I mean, that's how I interpreted it when you stood there two nights ago and said you wanted to go on a date. Two nights ago is exactly when I asked Amanda out. So, I haven't gone back in time. Oh shit! This Amanda never talked to me about slowing down our relationship. Because Safi isn't dead. So, are you gonna tell me what happened? Shit. I was working. I get total runaway train tunnel vision sometimes. I'm so sorry. Huh. The old, I'm a serious artist excuse. I didn't mean to make you feel like crap. Hey. Shit happens. I won't bug you about it. Just didn't love it. I should get back to work. Take it easy, eh? So if I didn't rewind, this is some kind of alternate reality. But I still talked to Amanda two days ago. So far, everything here seems basically the same. Except... I was hoping my nosebleed days were behind me. It feels connected to that humming. And whatever caused it.
Holy shit. I'm... I'm back, aren't I? In... Dead World. This is so... fucking crazy. My gut tells me it's not good news. Because... How could Vin mix me up with Safi? Oh no, I hope Amanda didn't spend all her soup energy on cooking for me. Another Polaroid from our mystery photographer? Except... No, Tony, I love it. I do. It's as thoughtful as ever. I hate that they no, canceled Krampus no for buts, one dead student. Only... I know you. If you sent me a gift, it means you won't be coming this year either. Krampus isn't unsettling, it's fun, but... Oh, hi. Oh shit, this is the Amanda I talked to this morning? Max, you're here. I'm here. Surprise. You good? I'm okay. You really cheered me up earlier. Happy to lend out my comedic stylings to girls in need. <laughs> Thanks. Are you here for... We already talked in her office. She seems to be doing... You know... Bad. God knows. I offered her free coffee for as long as she wants it. I gotta get back to it. Don't forget I'm here for you, okay? Thanks, Amanda. No Christmas decorations on this side. Another Yasmin. Oh, gee, Yasmin? She's so strong. I'd be a total mess in her shoes. Hi, Yasmin. Oh, Maxine. You're here. I'd invite you to sit down, but... Uh... I understand. Gender-neutral bathrooms. We love to see Okay, it. so I can cross back and forth. That's good to know. Safi and Yasmin are probably wondering where I am. I should get back to them. Honestly, Safia, I wish you'd have told me sooner. I was getting around to it. All clear? We don't need to get you a blood transfusion. Oh, I'm golden. Probably just the weather, you know? Oh, did the forecast call for massive nosebleeds? <sighs> Duty calls. Send me the bill for the windshield, please, Safia. Windshield? 
Another piece of shit pie. Someone... Hold on, it's easier if I just show you. Jesus. Fuck, Zafi. Is that your car? Charming, right? Found it this morning. Do you have any idea who did it? No. But if I ever find out, it's on site. They couldn't have picked a fight with the Volvo instead? <laughs> this is gonna sound bananas, but... I feel like I've met this cow. You have. It's from right over there. <sighs> Whatever, I gotta meet the tow truck. Wait. Hold on. The broken horn. It looks like there was something written on it. Max, you know I adore you, but... Read the room, bud. I'm not really in the mood to stare at photos of my fucked up car all day. Yeah, sorry. It's okay, Rathi. She's gone. Oh, tell me my proposal was shitty, Isabel. That would be a bomb. Hold up. Sophie's alive in this world. Her car probably didn't get trashed in the other, right? Doofa, that's gonna take some getting used to. There she is, safe and sound. Size does matter. I'm going to have to find a way to get up there. I'm pretty sure I just saw a stepladder. Where was that? It's December. It's way too cold to be out here, but I'm pretty sure if they brought those dart guns inside, Amanda would kill them. Hey, do you have the bathroom key? Uh, yeah. Could I grab that from you? We're using it. We'll put it back when we're done. You're using it? Yup. They are definitely up to something with that key. Not that the... I know I saw... I should use my power to look in on them. From... Dead World. Finally, a chance to live out my lifelong dream of being a tall girl.
Did you do any campus activities when you were in school? You know all about my college days, Safia. Yeah, I know, but your GPA. The drugs you took. What? Is that a signature? Ugh, this is so stylized, I can barely read it. Lucas Colmenero. Lucas Colmenero. Oh, shit. Did Lucas smash Sophie's windshield? He's a dick, but I don't know if he's a property damage level dick. But why would anyone else bother snapping his name off? Weird. This is weird. I wonder if anyone at the Snapping Turtle saw the whole thing go down. Amanda, I have kind of a weird question. Do you ever have non-weird questions? Occasionally. On a leap year. The whole year or just February 29th? Now who's asking weird questions? <sighs> All right, hit me then. What's the question? Have you had any skulls go missing lately? Wow. Um... That's an extremely specific question. And I can't believe the answer is yes. Our only skull, in fact. I'm dying to know why you ask. Because it somehow ended up in Sophie's windshield. <laughs> uh, wait, what the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm trying to unravel the mystery. Jesus. A skull? I mean, have they never heard of a brick? When did you notice your cow got rustled? Literally just this morning, before I clocked in. It had to be sometime last night. Did you know it had Lucas's name on it? Who? Oh, Colmenero. That makes sense. He's the one who donated it. Seriously? Why a cow skull? I have no idea. I'm like, physically incapable of listening to that dude when he talks. Did you see him in here last night? Lucas? I don't think so. Why? You think he broke into the turtle to, what, steal back his cow skull? I didn't say it was a good theory. Did you see anything suspicious? I mean, the Abraxas kids are perpetually suspicious. They took up like six tables last night. Maybe one of them saw something. Hell, maybe one of them stole it. Thanks. I appreciate the info. Anytime, Nancy Drew. I need to think. What is going on?
What if it's not just a prank? What if this Safi is in danger too? I just got her back. At least I know where to start. Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Find the Skull Rustler, save Safi, hopefully. And my best leads are Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Vin's the head honcho of Abraxas. I could start with him. Maybe I should do a little digging into Gwyn Hunter too. She was acting pretty odd earlier. Time to start asking questions. Whoever fucked with Safi's car isn't just gonna out themselves. Wise words. What the? <laughs> Note to self, avoid this bush. I can probably find Gwen in her office. And I think Lucas has a habit of working over by the cafe. You cool? You look a mess. I understand this crime involved a biohazard? One night, as I was closing the turtle, I went to restock the bathroom, and I saw that someone had taken a dookie in the sink. And they left some dookie-smeared toilet paper on the ground. But who's dookie? And who would go over to the toilet, get toilet paper, and then go shit in the sink? You give me a second? Surely another minute and a half isn't going to taint the building with my presence. Just leave everything behind, Professor. You won't need any university materials. 
Yeah, but I do need my car keys if you want me to leave the campus, don't I? Think. You're not to return to Caledon property before the hearing, under penalty of law. I know how this works. You don't need to read me my rights. Just doing my job, Professor. That'll go over great in Nuremberg. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. I told Yasmin already that none of it's true. She knows it's fucking bullshit. Wow. This is all just I guess some something kind of crazy screwy is going thing. down here, too. But at least. Yeesh. I wonder what that was about. So this Gwen just got escorted out by security, while Dead World Gwen is having hushed phone calls about the police and trying to break into locked bookcases. Time to snoop like I've never snooped before. I'm going to read this, I swear. If I ever have time for pleasure reading again. I had decided I would hitchhike across the country. If I still wanted to die when I got to the Pacific, then I could do it peacefully. Hell of an opening line, Gwen. Damn, talk about a green thumb. Gwen's wife. Claudia, I think. I met her at a faculty event last month. Gwen fucking adores her. You would never do... what, Gwen? Gwen cancelled her weekly meetings with Safi? Why? With the way they hustled Gwen out, I don't think these students are getting their grades anytime soon. Whoa, Reggie got an A minus? Loretta doesn't seem like the type to be happy with a B. Almost a full cup of coffee. Gwen must have just sat down to drink it. Oh my god, an answering machine. As I live and breathe. Gwen. Gwen. If you're screening your calls, pick up. I just got an email from Boss Bitch, and the phone is ringing off the hook. What the fuck is happening? Babe, babe, pick up the phone. I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Just come home, okay? We'll figure this out. Um, Dr. Hunter, this is David from Intro to Nonfiction. Um, I saw the notice in the lecture hall that your classes are going to be canceled for the rest of the semester, and I just wanted to check up and see if you're all right. I mean, I'm sure you're fine, but I don't know. We're all kind of worried. Okay, um, bye. Dr. Hunter, by now, I'm sure you've checked your mailbox and the contents enclosed therein. Please understand, this is a courtesy from one working woman to another. I don't want to hear excuses or lies. I'll have to ask you to leave campus until we can get this whole thing sorted out. Good day. Live fast, eat ass. Wise words. It's like a bumper sticker evolved into a bookend.
fiction, nonfiction, poetry, plays, bunch of scenes. Is there anything Gwen doesn't read? Between Gwen and me, I bet we've road tripped most of the country. Caked up Mothman, goaded with the sauce. God, why didn't I trade travel stories with Gwen before all this? These emails are from way back. Like, before Sophie knew she wanted to be a poet. I knew Gwen mentored Sophie, but I didn't realize she was this involved. This is the book I got for Gwen. Wait, what's sticking out from between the pages? Gwen is asking questions about Safi's death. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. Why would Sophie have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. That must have been some call with Maria on Friday. Gwen even planned out a time to follow up. Gwen is guilty of plant neglect. Although... I can't really blame her, considering the week we've all had. Drink up, buddy. If Sophie was an undergrad, this reading must have been at least, what, four years ago? This thing looks older than Caledon. No, not yet. I doubt I'll ever get a chance to look around Gwen's office like this again. You, Gwen? Almost a full cup of coffee. Gwen must have just sat down to drink. No, not yet. I doubt I'll ever get a chance to look around Gwen's office like this again.
If Gwen sent an email to Maria, it might still be on her computer. All right, Hacker Max. Let's go. Search sent to Maria. Uh, enter. Wait, this is Safi's publisher. Gwen got Safi's book canceled? These emails are from way back. Like, before Safi knew she wanted to be a poet. I knew Gwen mentored Safi, but I didn't realize she was this involved. I thought Gwen helped Safi set this all up in the first place. Why would she? No, this all has to add up. Somehow. Lucas tends to work over by the cafe. This looks like one hell of an art final. I should check it out. Pretty sure you need a time machine to even find a phone booth now. Okay, uh, what do I want to say to the future? There's so much more to your life than just the past. It's hard, but try to move on. Jeez, Lucas looks exhausted. Too bad. I've got questions. Max. <sighs> Sorry. Busy, busy. Um, need something? Actually, I... Catherine. I've been waiting for an hour. No, just put Robbie on. Oh, sure. I'm only the boy's father. Who fucking cares, right? How can you say- Whoa. Adds a whole new meaning to nuclear family. If Lucas has it out for Safi, there might be something incriminating in that case. Is that an email? Dated December 5th. That's when Sophie's car was vandalized. I need to get in that briefcase. Going to the Nationals. Your grandfather would have been proud, Robbie. Exactly. Robbie, I got a split. Uh huh. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Weird. This yep. Lucas seems to be on great terms with his family. Hey. Bye. Lucas. Max. 
Can't imagine it would be much fun to assassinate my character without an audience. Maybe I was a little rough earlier. With everything going on, I just... I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Grief is hard. The trick is not to let it change your character. That's a lot of books. A lot of my book. Signed copies for the Burlington Book Expo. They invited me to deliver the keynote this year. Have you seen the standee they put up of me? Can't say I have. Huh. Yeah, I might have to reposition it then. The standards for the expo really declined over the years. <laughs> We've had a lot of mediocre Yikes. visitors. This dude can talk. It's a shame. How am I going to get that key? Years and years and years, people still love the characters. Oh, crap. I forgot. I, what time is it? <laughs> I have to go give something to Moses um, before his class. Good luck with the book expo. Done any more work on that puzzle yet? It's funny you say that. By the way, did you get your ticket to the Burlington Book Expo yet? Uh, no. When is it again? Shiloh, it's soon. Shit, it's probably too late since Lucas Colmanero's giving a talk. I'll live, Alexa, I promise. I can always go next time. Lucas won't be there next time, and you'll probably be knee-deep in law school thoughts. Probably. But picture this. I bet Lucas would really hate if something happened to this. Now, what can I use to do some permanent damage? That would sure leave a mark on anything made of, say, cardboard. Dare I channel my inner Chloe? Now, how exactly do I want to get under Lucas's skin? The classics are classics for a reason. Oh my goodness! Who would do a thing like this? Someone should tell Lucas right away. She returns. I take it you've delivered your... something to Moses? My something? Right, my something. Yep, something delivered. So, not to be the bearer of bad news, but... Somebody drew horns in a tail on your book, Expo Standee. Are you serious? I just put that... Come on! Some people just have no respect for other people's property. Come on, stupid marker. The infamous cow skull. I feel like it's haunting me. Huh. The devil really is in the details.
Lucas's famous book. So that explains the cow skull and the snapping turtle. But does that mean he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield? Yeah, not you, Lucas. <laughs> Seriously. That damn cow skull again. Who threw this fucking thing? Sixty-seven dollars? Ouch. Did Lucas go to a gun range? Does Lucas have a gun? Lucas was with his agent last night. Not the snapping turtle. He couldn't have vandalized Toffee's car. So... Who did? No point in looking through Lucas' stuff now. Satisfied. So this is how the literati spend their free time. Guess this Lucas didn't get a chance to put this up yet. Sophie? Is Lucas really trying to file a restraining order against Sophie? Does she know about this? I'd better show her. Max? What are you... Lucas, this isn't... You can't tell her. What? You can't send Sophie that photo. Let me explain. Please. Catherine. My ex-wife, she called last night, mad as hell, because Robbie, our son, was repeating back to her things I supposedly told him. But I never... I mean, I could never... The shit Robbie says I told him, it, it... It makes me sick to think about. Maybe he was making it up? Acting out for attention. No. No. Even if Robbie was the type, this shit, I mean... Where would a kid even get ideas like that? He told her, I said he was the reason for the divorce. And somehow that was the least fucked up thing I'm purported to have said. This still doesn't explain the restraining order. I wasn't even there that night, Max. But someone said those things to my son. And you think it was Safi? Listen, Safi once threatened to turn Robbie against me. I know she's capable of it. Wait. Why would Robbie trust Sophie? Does he even know her? She used to babysit for us, believe it or not. Robbie adored her. And none of this has anything to do with what happened to Sophie's car? Something happened to her car? Never mind. Forget it. Look. I know she's your friend. I know you have no reason to believe me over her, but... Just give me a chance to get this shit in order first. Without her interfering. I just want to make sure my boy never has to hear anything like that again. This could all be a lie. One big smear campaign against Safi. Oh, what if it's not? Okay, I deleted it. This is between you and her. None of my beeswax. Thank you. 
If I can't find any evidence to back this up, I don't even know. At least I have time to look. I think I've wrung all I can out of Lucas today. Do I have a message from the past? What he's doing is wrong. It always felt like it was, but now I know it's true. I was starting to think my writing just wasn't good enough. How fucked is that? But she stood up for me. Nobody else has ever done that. Ever. So you know what? Fuck that guy. I won't stop writing because he's uncomfortable. That's my message to the future. Wow. Whatever he was talking about, I hope it worked out. Hi, Mama. Can you hear me okay? Someone thinks they're funny. <laughs> Dignity restored. Why, there's something on your lip, my good man. And not even a thank you? Rude. Cozy. The undergrads are restless. I don't think this is what the artist intended. Back to normal. I'm going to call you Pauline. Too bad you went here in the 60s, Gretch. We could have gotten stoned together. I want to be a bust. How does one become a bust? Fancy. Looks like Caledon spared no expense. This is nice and all, but there's an actual barista just next door. Hmm, it's like her eyes follow you wherever you go. 
I was literally just in there comforting Yasmin. But this Yasmin doesn't need comforting. Fancy. Looks like Caledon spared no expense. Is that a therapist's business card? I'll bet some folks on the other side could use that. I really hope that's just coffee. I wonder if Sophie's book will make it in here, once it's published. there with or without you. I have to see it with my own eyes. See what? You t That's the fourth bottle I've seen our fearless leader open this afternoon. Is he trying to act all grief-stricken because... They're doing my grief isn't affecting my brain she just can't catch a break huh not even at a time like this i think we all feel a bit busted sometimes those look like they should be in a file folder somewhere jeez somebody robbed an airport lounge Looks like this Vin is taking a break. Pick a card, any card, or whatever. Fucking shit. Oh, oh. Max, <laughs> it's just you. Huh? What can I do you for? Are you pouring whiskey into your coffee? Yes. Any particular reason why? <laughs> World is a fuck. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Join me. How many of those do you have? Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> Is this about Safi? <sighs> Safi, Safi, Safi. Everything is about Safi nowadays. This isn't about Safi, Max. This is about you and me. Right. Come on. Uh, Illicit day drinking with your coworkers is sexy. Be sexy, Max. <laughs> Far be it for me to pass up an opportunity to accrue more sexy points. Uh, measuring sexiness with imaginary points. Not sexy. Mm, minus five sexy points to me, then. <laughs> Shouldn't we be hanging out on the train tracks? That's where all the kids drank in high school. <laughs> 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 
You're from the Pacific Northwest, aren't you? What's that like? Not worth talking about. <laughs> what about you? Where did you drink? Well, at the risk of ruining my rakish reputation, gotta admit, wasn't much of a drinker till I landed here. You came to Caledon for theater, right? <laughs> Got it in one. You know your Vin lore. I'm impressed. <laughs> I like you, Max Caulfield. You feel haunted. What? <laughs> Don't worry, it's good. Uh, haunted people. Interesting. Maybe on TV. In real life, haunted people have to live inside their haunted brains. Yeah. They do. <sighs> I actually really needed that. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Sharing is caring. <laughs> She's staring holes into Yasmin's portrait. I wonder why. Brutal. Looks like something's on the prowl. Maybe it was that owl I saw the other night. That person's skating on thin ice. And I can't believe I don't even mean that metaphorically. This is a work of art that came from a strange and tortured mind. Maya Okada. I wonder who she was. Interesting endeavor, maintaining snow art. Men, what's stopping you from dressing like this? Interesting endeavor, maintaining snow art. <laughs> art student prank or horrifying creature, the world may never know. Nothing like a fun mystery to get you out of bed, huh, guys? Hey, can I get some advice? Is it weird if I acted sexy with my sort of dead friend's mom's employee? I should talk to Vin about the cow skull. That's my handwriting. Wait, am I the mystery photographer? I wonder if the artist who made this lived in Hellerton House at some point.
Metalworking is kind of like photography. You never know quite how the environment will shape your work. This will help me get my bearings a little bit. If some hot chips don't get you an A, I don't know what will. This world's Ven also seems to enjoy an audience. And uh, don't get cute either. You find it, you bring it right back to me. Well? Find it! <laughs> Undergrads, <laughs> am I right? Like you were never young. <laughs> young, yes. Dumb, maybe. Insufferable, never. Never is certainly a word. You lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension, etc. I'm busy, Max. Another time. Wow. Okay. What does Vin have them looking for? Let's say I find your missing patience. Then, I wouldn't be busy anymore, would I? Phil, they have our man, and he knows too much. What did Vin put these guys up to? Oh. Hey there. Oh, you know, if you want to ask Diamond out, I can introduce you. I'm 70% sure she doesn't bite. How about I put in a good Vin word and seems really tell distracted. me what Vin's missing? Whatever he lost good must talk. be important. There has to be some way I can hear what they're saying without them catching me. Waiting for someone, Diamond? Mm-hmm. Moses. He asked me to help him carry snacks back to the lab, but I guess he forgot. Isn't that kind of menial for a TA? So my job is menial now? I didn't. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Moses probably just got distracted. Off polishing his new telescope. If it were anyone but him, I'd ask if that was a euphemism. <laughs> Those Abraxas kids are really staring, huh? That one on the left is super into me. I danced with him once, once at a club last week. He's cute. I get it. I guess, if that's your vibe. <laughs> My sights are set a bit higher. Besides, they're on the clock for Vin now. Probably trying to catch me in unabraxis like behavior. What even qualifies as unabraxis like? Let's see. Sincerity, brokenness, or the hint of brokenness. Oh, and challenging Vin's authority. I think Vin's lost something. It's clearly rattled him. I'll, uh, go ask the goon squad. 
Good call. Hey, so Diamond told me she doesn't feel comfortable with you two staring at her. You tell me what Ven's looking for, and I won't tell him you're skeeving on a fellow Abraxas member. Good talk. There has to be some way I can hear what they're saying without them catching me. I should see what those Abraxas goons are up to. What did Vin put these guys up to? Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important. I should see what those Abraxas goons are up to. Things are good, sir. God, does everything on this side have to look so dead? Holy fucking shit. Just when you thought you'd seen it all. Jeez, there you are. Thought I was gonna freeze to death. When I woke up, Safi was gone forever. And now, I am in a whole new world of questions. What are these worlds? Timelines? Realities? Where did this new power come from? Is Rewind gone forever? Lucky for me, one question clearly takes priority. How do I protect the Safi I have left? Should I be worried? The last time I had powers, everything went to complete and utter shit. Ben's lackeys aren't in this world, but I might be able to hear them from this side. That person's skating on thin ice. And I can't believe I don't even mean that metaphorically. This world's Ven also seems to enjoy an audience. Hey. 
Thinking good cop, bad cop is going to be the way to... Oh. You don't... Diamonds in the Braxis. Maybe she knows what Ben is looking for. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important. I should see what those are. What did Vin put these guys up to? I should see what those Abraxas goons are up to. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important. This world's Vin also seems to enjoy an audience. I should see what those Abraxas goons are up to. Vin seems. It's kind of a facial recognition to unlock it. I'm not sure. Why? Well, if it's a passcode, Diamond can probably find a way into it. Ah, oh, shit. Good point. Holy shit! Someone took Vin's phone? And they think it was Diamond. I can use this. So, if you're wondering why those Abraxas kids are eyeballing you, it's because someone stole Finn's phone. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> they think it was me? <laughs> the clownery! Of course they do! Of course! I take it I was right to assume they're full of shit. Always a safe assumption. But if you find out who did it, tell them I owe them a drink. So, 
Are you and Vin rivals? Enemies? To hear him tell it? Both. And to hear you tell it? Vin is... One of those yappy little purse dogs who swears he's a pit. You don't exactly strike me as the typical, uh, Abraxan. The Vin Langmold? God, no. But the org itself has potential. If we could just get him away from it. You ever think about being, I don't know, Abraxas' boss? <laughs> Queen. <laughs> High priest. President. I would love to. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Diamond. And hey, if you talk to Vin again, tell him the only thing I'm taking from him is his crown. So, bad news, I'm not sure who took your phone. Good news, it wasn't Diamond. Holy shit. You figured all that out with, like, zero clues? I just knew who to ask. And how. <laughs> so, about my question. I'm free Tuesday, after seven. And I'm partial to a Japanese single malt. That's whiskey? <laughs> yes. But damn, do I have so much to teach you. So your place or mine? Cute. And at least a little tempting. But that's not what I was going to ask. Ooh, no fun. So, someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but they used a cow skull to do it. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's fine. Who would do something like that, though? You mean, who in Abraxas would? It's esoteric enough to feel like the handiwork of your, uh, organization. A cow skull. <laughs> what are we, Leonard Skinner? Come on, this one is way outside our wheelhouse. Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip over themselves accusing Abraxas. Vandalism, destruction of property, that's beneath us, Max. What performance. The audience wasn't impressed. That's how you know it wasn't us. And besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? Hold on. I didn't say anything about our windshield. Wild, right? I'd love to keep chatting and freezing my balls off, but I've got a phone to find. And if I need to reach you? I'll end up in my office eventually. Ben, what did you do?
time to follow up with Vin about that windshield slip. Let's see if I can't make this canary sing. Guess Vin found his phone. Hey, you found it. Kudos. Max. Sorry to startle, just... That was good luck, finding it so fast. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I... I'm, I'm such an idiot, I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> yeah. You still want to get that drink? Come again? You told me your favorite liquor earlier. I assumed that was a not-so-subtle hint. Oh, right. Um, bougie Japanese brandy or whatever. Didn't you say whiskey? So you were paying attention. Well done, Caulfield. You passed my test. Coming back to the cow skull, earlier you guessed that it went through Sophie's windshield. But I never said that part. Lucky guess? I mean, how else would you get a cow skull into a locked car? I mean, things are huge. <laughs> I guess. Why are you asking about this? Sophie's a big girl. Let her deal with her own shit. Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. Fuck. It's gonna lock if I get it wrong again. Wait. You can't remember your own code? I am, like, extremely hungover. You're lucky I can remember who you are. You seem fine out on the quad. I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. It slipped my mind. Magician scientist? <laughs> my Braxis shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. Uh, can you just... I don't know. Uh, I'm not at my best right now. Sure. Vin is definitely hiding something. Getting into that cell phone is my best shot at finding out what. Too hungover to remember a passcode? Jeez. Good thing I know another Vin. This must belong to someone flashy, and forgetful, and cold. Hey, uh... Ben? Can I ask for something kind of weird? Ooh, I don't do foot stuff. Damn. <laughs> well, there goes my Friday night. <laughs> Vin does owe me a favor. So, remember that favor you owe me? Yes. Um, it can be anything, right? Anything but foot stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. I need your phone passcode. What? <laughs> uh, you know I can change it once you leave the room, right? I'm not giving you my phone. That's fine. I don't need the phone. Just the code. What's this? Like a... like a power thing? Forcing sweet virgin boys to give you their passcodes? Fine. Suit yourself. It's one, nine, five, two. Thanks.
Aw, poor little guy. What happened to you? Please, don't touch that. It was a gift. I plan on gluing it back together. Guess Ven's not here. Very macabre chic. But I guess that's been hmm. Not totally sure how to read these, but I don't like the look of that tower card. That's a lot of cancelled meetings. I wonder if it has anything to do with that disciplinary hearing of Gwen's. A Krampus of your very own. Looks like Ben takes it black. Wow, Yasmin wiped out her whole schedule for this disciplinary hearing of Gwen's. Yikes. Aw, what a cute little guy. Huh, this one's not broken. He won a drama award. Shocker. I hope this is the right code. Ah, success. I'm sorry, Vin. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Food pics, food pics, mirror selfie, mirror selfie, shirtless mirror selfie. Sophie. 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 There's a lot of Sophie in here. I didn't get the impression they were close. Oh my god. Wow, that is really close. Who even were you, Sophie? I really thought I could help. Poke around a little, figure out who has it out for Safi. Bada bing, bada boom. Case solved, right? Why else would my powers come back? Stupid. Now I have more impossible questions than I had to begin with. Lucas filing a restraining order? Vin and Safi sleeping together? Gwen killing Safi's book deal I have no idea what any of it means. And the worst part is, I can't even talk to you about any of it. I won't be able to save you. Again. Whatever I do, it's going to turn out worse than I could even imagine. Get the fuck off me! I can't breathe! Everyone stay back. Give him some space. He's having a panic attack or something. I'm not I... fucking crazy. I know what I saw up there. All right. An authority figure has arrived. Sort of. Nothing to worry about. Let's give him some space. Can you run and get him some water? You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Fuck. After what I just saw up there. Reggie, up where? 
the fucking overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot. Reggie, what the hell? That's an active crime scene. I know, okay? I know. You said in your seminar, take photos of things that scare you, so I... God, fuck. That's... touching. If a little misguided. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I saw myself. Another me. Walking around, working on the puzzle box, the, the one that I gave you earlier. What did this other you want? I wasn't gonna fucking talk to him. I fucking ran, Max. Uh, did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell... Loretta, thank you. Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later, yeah? Just make sure he's all right. Thanks, Max. Time to go back up there. I can handle this. He's not just gonna let me by, is he? Hey, I think I left some equipment on the Overlook. Can I? Sorry, miss. This area is secured. Active crime scene. You'll have to wait. There's no way around that cop without getting spotted. Better start heading up to the Overlook. Hope there's a place to cross back over on the way. This looks a lot like Sophie's favorite candy, but hers is called Sour Cats, not Heart Stoppers. This goes against everything I learned in horror movies, but I should check for more weird shit. news uh it's big but i can't tell you what it is. why am i not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now right, Max. you have 24 hours before the world ends what would you do from here i should be able to make it up to the overlook Better look around to see what other freaky shit is going on.
I hope he doesn't think we're BFFs now. Trying to avoid me, Max? Uh... Trying not to bother you, actually. Thanks. <coughs> Careful there, Pineapple Express. Shit. Did Pot get stronger since I was in school? Before I came out, I had this boss, a free thinker, who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty YouTubers. Yikes. And a raging transphobe to boot. They're brainwashing our kids, blah, blah, blah. And of course, I was afraid if I said something said anything, he'd figure me out. But when I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up, make him feel as small as he made me. Isn't there, like, a special word for that? In French, right? L'esprit de l'escalier. The wit of the staircase. I take it you're acquainted? Oh, yeah. That one's a Max Caulfield greatest hit. Point is... I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. But what do you say about something like that? Gwen, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. From Yasmin or something. Trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. Hold on. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me. Stealing the students. Someone who looks like you. This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? How? That wasn't me, it was my evil twin. No. No. Fuck it. They've already made up their minds. You don't mean that. Thanks for believing in me, Max, but... I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Lucas shouting at his son? Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline? Is Gwen another victim of doppelganger-itis? Or is she just trying to cover her ass? If I could look at that footage, maybe I could figure it out. Gwen? What are you... What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! To Caledon. To Yasmin. And to feeling powerless. Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. What the fuck? Glenn, listen. If I can just get a look at this footage, I might be able to help. I didn't ask for your help, Max. 
Jesus, I didn't even ask for your company. I just wanted to get stoned and watch that thing burn. Whatever. Do what you want. It's too cold for this shit. Gwen, wait. I need to ask you something. Why did you kill Sophie's book deal? Were you going through my computer? What? No, she... she told me, but not why. Jesus. Now, let's see if I can find what Reggie saw. Or thinks he saw. Did something used to be here? I can't remember. What the fuck? Oh! <sighs> oh, Miss Caulfield, you, uh... Out for a stroll, too? Something like that. By the way, I appreciated your help with Reggie. Oh, that? It was the least I could do. Reggie's a sweetheart. Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? That's not really mine to share. I, I'm not trying to... I just want to make sure he's okay. Honest. He will be. I think. I was gonna come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but... <sighs> Seeing Reggie like that... I don't know. Made it feel... real. Wait, suicide tip? One of the bee cops let it slip. You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. Speaking of opening up... I got a lead. I could cut you in. One second I'm a source, and the next I'm a fellow investigator? <sighs> Sounds like there's strings attached. No, it's not like that. I just... I feel like I kind of owe you after the whole interview thing. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then... Maya died a couple years back. Suicide. Apparently. You think it's a pattern? Maybe. Yeah. Two promising young writers, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. But Sophie didn't kill herself. Like I said, a pattern. Maybe. Explain something to me. Why is this so important to you? Safi was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. I have to go.
got your text. I tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. It's not cool, though. It is not. You'll be fine, Moses. I promise. I hope so. But just in case. Yeah? Do you know a good lawyer? Shit, that bad? Well, I did... I did do something. I took Sophie's camera. I know. Moses, why did you- It wasn't like a rational decision. I wasn't thinking. I just... When we found her that night, I saw the camera. And I thought the last picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us. And Safi would never want to have that camera, that picture, in the hands of the fucking police. So I brought it back to my office. And then I realized, what the fuck am I doing? That's evidence in a murder case. So I just hid it in there. In my office. Moses! I screwed up, Max. And now I don't know what to do. All right. Maintenance tech is on his way to... So unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Shit! I've got to get Sophie's camera out of there. Somehow. Unless you have a key card. Miss Caulfield. Are you with the police? Don't you need a warrant to search my friend's office? Max, please chill. Vincent Alderman. Vermont State Police Detective. I'm the new lead investigator on your friend's case. In this instance, Dr. Fayad has granted permission to search any property belonging to Caledon. Does Dr. Fayed know you're going after Moses? I'm not sure what she would think of you using her permission in that way. I guess we'll find out. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy, We'll be fine. I'll come back. Promise. Okay. Now's my chance to get into Moses' office. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? Wow, these are heavy duty. I can't see anything through them. Is all this going to change now that Alderman's on the case? These open into Moses' office, I think. Caledon campus in winter. I used to think this was beautiful. Now it just makes me think of Safi.
definitely the right call. No one feels like partying so soon after Safi's death. They're locked, and Alderman would hear them opening. I need another way. Maybe I can find a way into Moses' office from this side. Hey, maybe this Moses can help me find the camera. Oh, hey Max. Man, that's annoying. How do you stand it? <laughs> You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> uh-huh. So, what's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name it. What is your most prized possession? In here, at least. In here? Uh, probably that mug. My sister made it for me as an early Christmas gift. Oh. That's sweet. Remind me not to get you any mugs for Christmas. Kinda left field, but if you were gonna hide something personal in this lab, where would you put it? If this is about my dream diary, trust me, you'll never find it. I'd never bring it to campus. You never told me you keep a dream diary. And I never will. Pure conjecture on your part. Okay. Name something in here you wouldn't want, say, Dr. Fia to find. Like, something I keep blocked away? Yes. Yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. <laughs> Maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. As I live and breathe. Moses Murphy. Rule breaker. <laughs> Rule bender, Max. Rule bender. Anyway, what's with all the questions? Oh! Moses? Do you need me to hold something, or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah. I need an Allen wrench. On it. Um, got one around here? No, I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. Okay. I can't go looking around for Carla. I need a faster way to get Moses a wrench. Moses was so excited when this came out. I think he bought seven copies. The wonders of modern technology have rendered us a turtle with a gun. Worth it. Harold's dishes. I've heard so many jokes about this mysterious office mate that I don't know what's true anymore. Aw, Maggie's cute. That's so cute, annoying. really. Moses said living on his own for the first time was harder than the astrophysics. Yeah, this is why I'm not a physicist. Knowing at least one Moses gets out oh of Oh my god, stop! I can't tell if that makes me feel better or worse. The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. I bet Moses covered his bedroom with these as a kid. I can't get over how busy everyone is in this timeline. Did I forget what normal life is like? I bet Moses knows something interesting about every one of these stars.
No one's been here for days. That's new. Okay. I need to get that Allen wrench, and I need to be quick. This is my handwriting. Wait. Am I the mystery photographer? Is... is this from some other timeline? Uh. What? Bitch, you did not just- Relax. It was a picture of the mugs you two were drinking out of. Good. Ugh, oh, I would rather murder all my students with my bare hands than grade one more final. Well, no. Were you two up all night? Yeah. And I'll be working on these astronomy finals until sundown. My birthday gift to Moses. I could tell how badly he wanted to say. But the moon doesn't emit its own light. I remember her wearing this earlier that night. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. For astronomers who hate the outdoors. I think I understand this now. Maybe I've gotten smarter with age. This must be for working on the mural. Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. Did Moses draw this? This is beautiful. I bet Moses covered his bedroom with these as a kid. This must have been dropped off while Moses was out. Did Moses draw this? This is beautiful. Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. Where would I find the Allen wrench? Moses and Safi. So different and yet so well suited. Moses might actually hate snack residue on his fingers more than he hates scientifically and I can see why this character is Moses' favorite. God, I bet every sad poem she ever... I thought I'd never hear another dirty joke about this thing. But Safi's alive here. Love this cozy little donut corner. Maybe the wrench is near Moses' equipment. Where do you keep your kettle? Hang on, Max. I gotta adjust my grip. This is pretty impressive. A lot more complicated than I would have thought. These are cute. Moses' sister must have visited.
Carla must have left her note in the same place as the wrench, right? Just in different worlds? Better give this wrench to Moses. So I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, not literally Alan. It's... Oh. You are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. And you're welcome. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. Why haven't you? You know Safi. She has like a million little projects half started everywhere. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. W with the contraband kettle, right? Just give me just a second. Sure. So the cabinet is a secret hiding spot. Let's hope the other Moses hid the camera in the same place. Ugh, why is it so happy? Damn. This note wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Is this where he hid Sophie's camera? Come on! How long does it take to bring a damn key? Okay, the camera might be under a safe. Where can I find this safe? Nope. No camera in here. I don't know of any other safes in Moses' office. Think I might need his help again. I don't remember ever seeing an actual safe in this office.
Maybe the safe is hidden somewhere. I should just ask Moses. That's... Will it distract you if I talk? Should be fine. What's up? That telescope. How long have you been working on it? A couple days. Why? Is there anything special about it? A better question would be, what isn't special about it? Misunderstood in its heyday, due in part to its experimental lens design, it's only now being lauded as the revelation it is. Underestimated and later appreciated. May we all be so lucky. <laughs> so, the mural. What's the story there? I made the mistake of telling Safi I used to want to be a comic book artist, as she found a project that would force me to draw. Hmm. We're going to use my star projector to trace the constellation and then draw the twins around it. And Gemini, what's the significance? Really? I chose it because there are two of us and we'd be working on it together. But Safi imbued it with meaning. The scientist and the poet. Duality. She sells it better than me. Another strange question. Um, you don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. Are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. There's a star called safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. What the? You've been popcorned. <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this out. So Moses hid the camera under a star. And of course, there are stars everywhere. Maybe that's supposed to be safe. Is the camera around here on the other side? Oh my god, stop! At least Moses hid the camera well. Wherever it is. Was that you? Thought I heard something. All of Moses' friends are nerds, huh? No wonder he gets along with me so well. This is pretty impressive. A lot more complicated than I would have thought. And they're safe on the lower left. No camera. Must not be the right safe.
And they're safe on the lower left. Come on, Moses. Where did you hide it? Right, because that would have been too easy. There's so many- a star projector. Over 50 constellations. It's gotta have safe. The mural. Moses must have projected some stars to use as a guide. Moses said safe is part of Orion? Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I need to set this up exactly how Moses had it when he was drawing. I think I got it. Fingers crossed I can find safe on that wall. So if this is Orion, then safe is... Boom! Good job finding safe, Max. Why, thank you, Max. Now then. No, no, no! Shit, I can't let him see me in here. I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. I'll need something noisy. Hey, that's pretty noisy.
I need something loud and distracting. something noisy. I thought I'd never hear another dirty joke about this thing. But Sophie's alive here. Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. Wouldn't want to show up right in front of him. Here goes. What the hell? Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place. Hey! Is someone down there? Stupid telescope! Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? Fuck. That's... That's new. Yes! Holy shit. The telescope and all the parts switched places. Gotta run. Sorry, I... I'll text you. Yo... What?! Moses. Miss Caulfield, can I speak with you for a minute? You should go. Please. 
Have a seat. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. But if we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you, if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield. Sure. Of course. If I notice anything, I'll let you know. I'm glad to hear it. And I'm sure Dr. Fayed would be grateful as well. Now that is my direct number. No detail is too small to share. You're, you're not bothering me. You're helping your friend's case. Thanks again for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day. Moses, I want to show you something. We don't have to talk about. Look. How? Okay, let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. Wait, is that... Wilder Beasts Than These, by Lucas Colmenero. <laughs> Figures there'd be copies all over campus.
Okay. Let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. Wait, is that... Wilder Beasts Than These by Lucas Colmanero. <laughs> Figures there'd be copies all over campus. Might as well add it to my collection of so-called clues. I picked up so many things today. Best lay it all out and see if it gets me anywhere. Oh, Neb. You have such sage eyes. I know you're not a magic eight ball, but can you pretend? Is all this gonna turn out okay? Outlook not so good? Shit, Neb. I could have told you that. Ugh, she's got a sixth sense for bugging me at the absolute worst time. I can't remember when it's been this clean, but it'd be the perfect place to put all my, uh, evidence. Okay, Max. Let's see what we've got. This was meant to be a loud message. But from who? And what does it mean? While I do want to see this so-called incriminating footage of Gwen, it's probably best to wait till Moses leaves to check it. Lucas, I really don't think he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield, but there's clearly more bad blood here than I knew about. Guess I understand now why Gwen was so adamant about getting her book out of the case. I still don't understand why Gwen would do this to Sophie. Especially since she helped her get the book deal in the first place. I probably shouldn't leave all this out in the open. Maybe if I step away for a bit, these will all make sense later. Hope Moses is doing alright. I should go see if he's gotten Sophie's camera hooked up yet. Oh my god, Max. How many of these movies are there? Hello? This is your new power, Max Caulfield. Saving lost cats in other dimensions. Time to greet our furry friend. Oh, wow. I guess I haven't been home in this world for a couple days. It's like a time capsule of the day Safi died. Weird. Who's out there? Oh, look at you! 
What's the... <laughs> you look how I feel, little storm cloud. Are you a refugee? Or a fugitive? Mm, no collar, huh? So... What do I call you? How about Daisy? I like cats named after flowers. Oh, right. Affection. What was I thinking? <laughs> well, if you're staying, I should probably consider a couple of cat quality of life changes. I should crack those open eventually. Sophie's alive here, and she might ask me what I thought. Man fears time. Time fears the pyramids. The pyramids fear this plant. We took in a little liquid courage before the bowling alley shoot. Sophie's insistence. Well, I loved telling Sophie how the lens can totally change your perception of a subject. I loved that she didn't need me to explain why that was. Do cats like cushions? There, a bed fit for a king. Poor little guy. Hey, Daisy. Mind if I get a photo? Can you do a big stretch for me? Worth a try. I barely use this swanky kitchen at all, but hopefully I have something cat-friendly. This should do the trick. Here, kitty kitty. Chow time. See? We can be friends. Oh, okay. You go ahead and eat whenever you're hungry. No cat can resist fucking up a perfectly good roll of toilet paper. Okay, all cat proofed. Moses is waiting for me in the other, uh, world. My dark room here is empty. It's been a minute since I exhibited in a gallery gallery, but Dr. Preston was excited about working together on something next year. 
With Safi alive in this timeline, I... I don't even know what to put here, if anything. I think my outfit is perfectly Max. Unless... Poor little guy. Moses? You okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous? About seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Far from it. Safi was special to us. To everyone. But I meant, are you okay, okay? I've been better. I didn't have the option not to cooperate, Moses. Not really. I had to say something. Yeah, you did. And chose to say yes. Hey, look. Maybe seeing Safi again will help clear the air. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Sneaky girl. What is this? Max, you... You killed her? That isn't me in the picture! I swear! Uh, yes it is, Max! It's Photoshop! A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. You sold me out to Alderman. You're covering for yourself! No, Moses. Please. This is me you're talking about. Me. There's a lot I don't know about you. But you know I wouldn't do something like that. I could never! You stay the fuck away from me! Oh, <laughs> 